When you're shopping at the Dollar Tree, is it actually cheaper than shopping, say, somewhere like Kroger? Well, in this video, I thought I would just do a little bit of price comparison. So we're looking at Kroger versus Dollar Tree. Let's get it started. Before I forget, let me just say that this video is brought to you by Apron Diva, our online apron boutique. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. And the apron that I'm wearing today is the crisp. I just love the tomatoes and the mushrooms and the um, rosemary and different kind of things that's on it. You can check it out at www.aprondiva.com. One of the first things that I want to mention is that when I was looking for powdered milk at the Dollar Tree, I couldn't find any. This box I picked up at Kroger, so Kroger versus Dollar Tree, right now Kroger is winning. The other thing that I was concerned about was coffee. As I continue to build out my prepper pantry, I want to make sure that I'm getting those things in that I'm going to need or that my family is going to need should there be another lockdown and coffee is one of those and i looked at the coffee at the dollar tree and whereas they had packets for a dollar they didn't have any decaf which is all i drink so Kroger is winning here because i could get not only decaf but other kinds of coffee that could suit my palate and suit my budget now something else i wanted to show you is shelf stable chicken broth so we're looking at chicken broth in the carton. So the Kendall Farms chicken broth at Dollar Tree was a dollar. The Simple Truth chicken broth at Kroger was a dollar ninety-nine. So it looks as if the Dollar Tree is winning on this one, but the thing you have to be sure to check on is the expiration date. And the expiration date on this chicken broth is best before October 2022. So I've got a little less than a year for that one. On this Simple Truth Chicken Broth, the Best Buy date is March of 2022, but I already had this carton of chicken broth for over a year. So this one gave me a longer use by date. So this one I've had over a year already. This one I just picked up within the last few days. So again, Kroger is winning. Now the other thing comes to shelf stable milk. This is the Dairy Pure Milk which I was able to pick up at Kroger. And this is the milk that I was able to pick up at Dollar Tree. Once again, whole milk and it's only a dollar, but best to be used by April of 2022. So I barely get six months shelf life from this milk here. Whereas with this Dairy Pure, when I pick it up at Kroger, I get at least a year, if not two years on the milk. So there's that. Now, when we're looking at the almond milk, which I buy almond milk because my husband prefers it, the Simple Truth almond milk is $1.99. And then this almond original, which I picked up at Dollar Tree, was just a dollar. But again, the shelf life for this one is March of 2022. So I don't get as long a shelf life on the Dollar Tree products as I do from the Kroger products. Here are the boxes of oatmeal, the six packs. They are $2.49 today. This is the Quaker brand. And the Kroger brand is $1.59. The Dollar Tree brand was a savings as well. I don't see any bags of the oats like I saw at Dollar Tree, but I do see some boxes. This is the old fashioned and it's in the box and it's $1.79 as well. So definitely got a better buy on the oatmeal at Dollar Tree. When I'm looking at this cornbread mix, I usually buy Jiffy and they're usually about 50 cents a box. Right now they're up about 65 or 75 cents a box. This package of cornbread mix at Dollar Tree was just $1. The best buy date though is May of 2022. So that's something to be concerned about. However, whereas this one makes up in an eight by eight pan, this one makes up in a nine by 13 pan or two eight by eight pans. So even though this one might be about 25% more to purchase, you get almost 50% more product. So Dollar Tree is definitely winning here. 
Now here's where I think Kroger wins hands down, and that is on the vegetables. The cans of veggies at the Dollar Tree are all a dollar. It's the Dollar Tree, and everything in the store is one dollar, including vegetables, soups, tomato products, and these cooking soups, as my husband says, they're all a dollar. So right now, this corn is 10 for 10, so that's a dollar each. Same price as it might have been at Dollar Tree. Sweet peas are four for three dollars, so that's more than Dollar Tree. And then the Kroger brand corn is 65 cents. So I'll get a couple of those instead of the Green Giant, since I'm really trying to see. Kroger brand, however, of the green beans is 65 cents each. The Kroger brand crushed tomatoes is 69 cents as well. This is a better deal at Kroger as well. The petite diced tomatoes, Italian style, 69 cents each. The fire roast is $1.29, so I'm going to pass those up. Well, Kroger has these vegetables right now for about 69 cents a can, and the Kroger brand typically is somewhere between 69 cents and 75 cents a can. And when you use your Kroger Plus card, you can also get an additional savings. So when I bought this four pack of corn, it was $1.99. And then with the additional savings from my Kroger Plus card, it came down to about $1.78. So this is definitely a plus there. So just because it says Dollar Tree and it's a dollar, doesn't mean it's the best savings. So on the vegetables, Kroger is definitely winning, as well as all of these canned goods. And one of the things that I am out of, because I've been using from my preps, is the cream of chicken soup. So I'm gonna pick up some of that while I'm here. Didn't see any of that at Dollar Tree. Yeah, the cream of chicken, $1.89. I almost missed this. The Kroger brand cream of chicken is 89 cents. So this is what I'll be getting. This Campbell's Chunky Soup tends to be somewhere around $1.59 to $2.29 at Kroger. And you can find some other chunky kind of brands at Dollar Tree for a dollar. But I like the quality that I get in this Campbell's Chunky Soup. So I'll probably always continue to buy this at Kroger. Now, Dollar Tree did not have any of this Grable canned meats. And we've got the beef, the chicken, they don't have any pork today, but these are some options you definitely want to consider in your preps, and you can't find those at Dollar Tree. Now let's look at applesauce. I got this six pack of applesauce at Dollar Tree for a dollar, and it's the Apple Snacks brand. This Mox brand of cinnamon applesauce that I picked up at Kroger is closer to $1.99 for this same six pack. But again, when I look at expiration dates, this one has an expiration date in about six months. The ones that I get from Kroger typically will be maybe a year and a half to two years on that. So there's something to think about. Now this jar of mushrooms I thought was an amazing find at Dollar Tree. And I looked at Kroger and they've got a brand that's very similar to this, or rather I should say a jar size that's very similar to this. Here's a jar of mushrooms that's very similar to the mushrooms I picked up at Dollar Tree. And the price on it is $1.89 and the Dollar Tree brand was just one dollar, about the same size, so definitely better bargain at Dollar Tree. The other thing that I found that I picked up at Dollar Tree was this package of Nochi potato pasta, and I like that, and chicken and noodles and soups and things like that. Well, this is a dollar at Dollar Tree. Now the Nochi pasta, which I saw at Dollar Tree was a dollar, this pasta is $2.49 for the Nochi. As far as weight and size, they're both the same. You get about a pound of potato pasta in each one. All the beans and lentils that I see here are $1.79 or higher. So again, a Dollar Tree beat that. These lentils are $1.49 for a pound. Now let's look at pancake mix. I picked up this box of Betty Crocker pancake mix at Dollar Tree, again, a dollar. And then this is a box of Hungry Jack Complete pancake mix that I've had on my shelf for a little over here that I picked up from Kroger. This one is probably closer to $2, whereas this one is just a dollar. And when the shutdown occurred 
last year, pancake mix was one of the first things that disappeared off the shelf because there's just so much you can do with that. So this is definitely something you want to be sure to include if you're topping off your press. Other food extenders that are certainly big items to purchase include pasta sauce. This can of Hunt's pasta sauce, 24 ounces, I picked up at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And then over here, I've got this container of, or this jar of Classico uh, tomato and basil pasta sauce, which is amazing. And it was closer to $2.29 for this jar here. Pasta sauce is $2.49. I got a 24 ounce can of pasta sauce for a dollar, so Dollar Tree beat that price. However, I feel like I get an additional gift with the classical brand because I get a jar that I can use for canning and the lid on this classical jar is the same size as my regular small mouth canning jars. Now another pantry staple that I picked up at Dollar Tree is the white long grain rice and the brown long grain rice. And as I said, each of these were a dollar since they came from Dollar Tree. The Kroger brand of rice is $1.77 for a two pound bag. And this rice and rice is $1.99 for a two pound bag. When I get home, I'll compare to see if the rice I got at Dollar Tree was one pound or two pounds. If it was one pound, then the prices are comparable. Equal size of the long grain white rice or brown rice at Kroger is probably going to be closer to $1.59 or $2.29, depending upon what's going on and what's on sale on any particular day. So I'd say that the Dollar Tree is definitely winning when it comes to rice. So what's the what on who's winning? I believe that Kroger is your best value. Now, one of the things you want to make sure you do is shop the sales when you're shopping at Kroger and also make sure you're using your Kroger Plus card because then you can get the best price for whatever it is you are looking for. Just because they have it at Dollar Tree and it's a dollar doesn't mean it's the best buy for you at that particular time. As I pointed out, the Dollar Tree dollar canned goods are not the best buy when you can get canned goods almost all day long, every day of the week at Kroger for under $1. As far as your milk and chicken broth and those kinds of things, you can find them at the reduced price. But my biggest concern with Dollar Tree is that many of their items, there is a very short use by date, sell by date or expiration date on the products that you pick up there. Whereas places like Target and Kroger, those sell by dates are usually a bit longer so that you can keep them on your shelf a longer period of time because that's the whole idea with an extended pantry or a proper pantry is that you're trying to purchase shelf stable items that you can keep for a while. And if the items that you pick up are going to outdate in less than six months, then you're not doing as great a service for yourself as you would prefer. To learn more about building out a three month food supply for your family, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying, if you are not done yet, click on the link in the comment section below and check out another episode of Prepping with Denise. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to visit us at www.acredeva.com.